Let's talk head gaskets. This is a mislabeled head gasket. I'm jumping straight into the video with this just because it's so just crazy. Uh, two pictures. Take a look at them. Up here. See them? Yeah, something ain't right. You know what, what it is? You see, it says front here. Well, I'm going to show you on the motor. Just as soon as I get, in just a second. But, you see those? The score patch is, is blocked off. Because... The front that it says on the gasket is actually the back of the gasket. What the hell? And you know, I'm personally know my buddy used the same set of gaskets, and they on his truck backwards. So we gotta take the heads back off. This is a factory fail pole gasket. The front and back is wore off of it. Uh, the back got the big coolant passages here. You can even watch videos if you don't trust this and people installing head gaskets. Yeah, this is the back. The big ports is always the back. The metal tab always goes towards the front. So if you install these gaskets like they labeled, this tab be closer to the back. This tab should be towards the front, right here. Uh, but I'll show you on the motor. It, it's, it's hard to tell here. I just go out and film at the engine, and yeah, that's, that's the best I can do, guys. Just let me know in the comment section what you think about this. I just think it's, I mean, come on, how hard is it, it, is it to quality control which side you put the label on the head gasket? You know how much trouble these sets of gaskets is probably caused or a mislabel has caused for people? And if you get a shop to do it, it's the problem, but if you personally do it, it's on your time, on your dollar, you can't take it back to the shop. You gotta do it over and pay out of pocket. This is the gasket you seen at the beginning of the video. This is front. It does got a little mark here, but that that actually shouldn't affect it because you got this multi-layer steel type of compression going on here. So that actually should not matter. It's just a misprint. And you can tell if you look extremely close, it's just like something went across of it as it was being printed on. Uh, on the side note, why it's being printed on backwards because if you look, this is the front of the motor. This is the back. You see your big ports back here? Okay. We just got two little coolant passages here and here. Once you put it on, you're like, okay. It says front goes here. So, you see an issue just like the photos you just seen. Look at, the, look how much that coolant port is. It's about completely cut off. So this would still technically work because you do get coolant passing through here. It's just not like it should. So you could have an overheating issue. So that's something you got to look out for because how this gasket actually goes on is just like so. And you see we got the coolant little port holes right here. Then we got the normal big hose, which is matched up perfect right here opened up. This is how this gasket should be installed. If you look, this says front. The little metal tab, even on the Maui's, is always up towards the front too. It's another way you can tell. So if you're not watching what you're doing, and you just go and buy what the gasket says, you will just throw this on here because it says front and not even notice this. So my friend did the same thing. He actually put his gaskets on backwards. When I sent him a message, I said, uh, I know you just installed the same brand gaskets. Uh, is yours on backwards? And he said, what you talking about? Then I sent him photos, and sure enough, his gaskets is on backwards. He's not having an overheating issue yet. He's not drove the truck super much, and uh, he's not told anything with it. But that's something to be mindful of, that how simple it is to just go on what the manufacturer says and uh, not noticing something like this when it goes like this. So the part you just watched was me installing this gasket. Yeah, this is the same gasket. It's just movie magic, you know. I ain't installed it yet and I'm filming the ending. Uh, but I noticed it's got a, a scratch here. You probably see it better in the video. Um, that's bull. I, 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 I don't know. How hard is it to quality control these Make sure it's printed on the side it needs to be so people don't have issues when they install this stuff. Just, uh, I know it's a budget gasket, but come on guys, it's, it's good quality gasket. 
My buddy's got one of these on 600 some horsepower, naturally aspirated, a couple more buddies running them on turbo builds. It's a good gasket. Up your quality control a little bit. I mean, I don't know, maybe I just got a bad batch, but my friend has got them on his truck and his is the same way. They aren't backwards. So uh, there's a pretty big batch of being bad. So let me know guys in the comment section below if you installed them backwards, if you tried these, if you caught the issue, if this video helped you and saved you from installing gaskets backwards, because these may not be the only set that's mislabeled. You know, it's, it can happen. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, get subscribed. If you uh, return and subscribe, I thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. I guess I go uh, draw a motor together. Thanks for watching.